New at 10, money confiscated in drug seizures by federal agents and local police can add up very quickly. Now that money is sometimes redistributed. Joel Flores tells us what FAR police plan to do with their share. More than $485,000 was given to FAR police as part of the Homeland Security Investigations Department's asset sharing agreement. The money seized in a criminal bust still under investigation. This is an ongoing case uh, concerning a uh, transnational criminal organization, FAR Police Department. We partner with them quite often with, uh, and other uh, law enforcement agencies throughout the valley. We're going to look into expanding the amount of effort we put in that requires personnel, that requires revenue for the city, but it's well spent money in my opinion. <laughs> Large bulks amount of cash that have been seized in the past and have been given to the police department have helped them purchase necessary equipment. For safety for our officers, vests. For the safety of the officer and the public, body cams. The uh, tasers, right? So those are equipment that come out of this bucket rather than general taxes. Part of the funds received today will be used to purchase a server that will store footage from the dash cam of a police unit as well as footage obtained from the body cam of an officer offering more security and less danger. Because we're getting body cams it requires because everything is downloadable into data we have to by a purchase of a larger server, so that server requires different type of home plates. Our police received over $70,000 in state funds to purchase body cameras, but they are required to match the amount by 25%, and a portion of the funds awarded Thursday will be used for that purpose. It is an um, awesome opportunity where we can continue to provide uh, the necessary equipment to keep our officers safe, but at the same time, the use of funds that are coming from illicit activities and not from our taxpayers' funds. In FAR, Joel Flores, CBS4 News and ValleyCentral.com. And the FAR Police Department is expecting to receive body cams for every officer on the force by the end of May.